friends welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be setting up our health spreads for the next week in june and i've got my highlighters here ready to go in case i want to use those as well as these sticker books which i pulled from another wax paper spread this week so yeah so let's jump in this week i really went in without a real plan <laughs> and I thought I had one more purple sidebar sticker from the wellness box, oh, which I forgot to show you guys. And it ended up that I only had the teal left. I like to match all of my sidebars each week, and so I had that teal one and kind of made me make some changes on what I was going to showcase for my theme. That said, I went through all my books, just kind of looked through everything, and I saw some llamas that I hadn't really thought to use, and I thought, well, I'd give them a try in this health spread. I think what really called out to me was that it had no drama llama, <laughs> and I kind of feel like there's been a lot of drama going on in the planner community lately so I just thought that was kind of a perfect theme for this upcoming week let's have no drama shall we <laughs> so no drama llamas so that's kind of where the idea came from and it had mainly blues and grays and so I kind of worked in the teal to make a blue green and gray color scheme on this spread So as I'm setting up the top half here with the whited out lines, I also did the highlighted lines for my stat stickers, which I'm about to cut here for you guys. And I made those on my faux memo printer. If you are interested in getting the template that I use here, I made this one and eight others that you can use on any printer. Just need some kind of label paper if you're going to make it as a sticker, but you could even print it on regular paper and just stick it down with some glue. All of those are available in a link in the video I did reviewing the Foam Memo printer, talking about custom stickers. So feel free to go there and download it if you want those. And I will link it here in the video as well and in the description below. Okay, so I'm basically just cutting them up and putting them next to the blue line I made with the highlighter. Kind of wanted to bring more of that blue in, um, as you'll see, because there's going to be a lot of green. And I'm just going to try to tie in the colors with the blue and green color scheme. I had thought about actually doing like a, a swash of blue behind the stickers, but the blue was a little too dark, so... Um, just the line worked out perfectly and now I'm laying in my sidebar which you just saw and my food log stickers these I grabbed those from the giant sticker book with all the colors a lot of the boxes and things like the more structural things I grabbed from there it's been a really awesome book lots of options as far as you know just creating color schemes which is nice because you know how when you're looking for something you can't find what you want it's just nice to have a lot of options in one place and all in the same color so you can easily grab what you need this is i think the third week i've done this where i've pretty much made one giant box here at the top for my workout tracking and then also my decor. I whited out the lines with my jelly roll pen and then now I'm doing the main big lines with uh, just a dry liner I have from Staples. And now let's get to putting things down. I was gonna build this guy on camera but I really wasn't sure how things were gonna work out and I really wanted to get an idea um, beforehand just to make sure this is the direction I wanted to go so I started laying things down on wax paper and before I knew it I had the whole spread kind of 
set up. So sorry, I know you guys like to see that process, but it's still interesting, I think, to see how it comes together. There's a, a few things I'll be doing along the way, um, adding in some more of that highlighter, and hopefully that'll be interesting for you guys to see. I was really concerned with how large the llamas were. I wanted to make sure I had enough room to actually make this a useful section for me. So I grabbed these hexagons and I figured those could track my daily workouts. Fitting them in though is a little bit tricky because of how large, again, that llama is. And there's that quote that basically started it all. No drama llama. I grabbed the trees and the little like shrubbery stuff from the squad goals and that worked out perfectly. It was actually in the winter section of the book and I kind of think or at least I think so that llamas live up in the mountains so I thought that would be appropriate evergreen trees. And then I thought that highlighting the bottoms with a little of that highlighter would give it some shadowing, some grounding on the spread. So I'm using my friction highlighter for that. I was going to use the darker blue and I just changed my mind at the last minute. One thing I do like about it is that it is erasable, so I figured if I did something and I didn't like it, I could at least erase it and do it again. So that's why I stuck with the lighter blue. But the darker blue I think would have tied a tiny bit better with the color scheme. But it still works. I think it still looks really good in the end especially. This spread is really not very summery. <laughs> when I laid it in, I was like, wow, this kind of feels, I don't know, not like summer at all. The blues and the greens and the, I don't know, just the mountainy type theme. But maybe if you're camping where there's llamas, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and it really has nothing to do with health either. It was more just about the feeling, that whole like mental exhaustion from how much stuff has been going on and so I just thought it would be a good place to use this theme. And I'm trying to balance out the llamas and the boxes, just trying to make everything flow and not feel too in line with each other. I like to mix things up and make it feel random but balanced. So that's what I'm working on here. And that's why I needed the wax paper because I, again, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to fit everything in and then just trying to find that balance was a little bit tricky. Actually, the other quote that's up there at the top, it says, no problema, like problema, I guess, is the way she'll say it. I never actually said it out loud until I laid it down, and then I looked at it, and I tried to say it, and I was like, what is this? No problema. And I was like, oh, that's cute, too. Okay, so I think I've cleaned that up and we'll just do a little bit more to highlight where my calorie counting will be. Definitely need to do more of the calorie counting, even though it's kind of a chore. It really does help me see how much I'm eating. So I want to make sure I had a spot for that. Add in some more of those shadows fix this one here on the tree that I 
moved, so now that needs a shadow. And again, erasing. Love the eraser. Just kind of dialing back some of those shadows that got a little out of hand. I really like this spread. I like the mood of this spread. Like I said, different for summer, but still really fun. And I'm going to white out all of the Sunday starts on my sidebar and then we will be done friends. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it and we will see you next time. Bye.